Hey, it's Tony again from Type 5 with another how-to. Uh, unfortunately, today I'm out in the garage because my 2012 Town & Country van won't start. Um, now, it will turn over, uh, but unfortunately it's not getting any fuel. I've charged the battery, I know the battery is good. Uh, it just isn't getting the fuel to start. So I'm gonna start it up and show you what's going on. Uh, since it does have the push button start here, it will crank, 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 probably 10 seconds or so. It's just not getting the fuel. And we'll try to fix this in real time. So, um... yeah. Okay, so. You kind of get the idea. I have power. It's just not getting any fuel. So what's happening, and apparently this is an issue with a lot of uh, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeeps, is they use this specific fuel relay, and over time, the relay goes bad. Now, that's a recall on some of these other... Um, other models but not on the town and country so there's a company out here that i found called vertical visions that should solve this problem for me they make a, a little circuit board that will override the the relay and should fix this issue so i haven't tried this yet uh, i'm doing this live for you guys just to see how the process is and hopefully it should fix the problem so I have the circuit board. The instructions say to remove two specific fuses associated with the, the relay itself. So we're going to remove fuse uh, 25 here. I want to double check that these fuses are good as I'm removing them. This one is, so we'll insert that here into our new circuit board. So there's one. And then fuse 37, this is a 10 amp fuse. And there, pull that one out. Again, double check that fuse. That looks good. So it wasn't the fuses that were bad. Again, it's the actual uh, relay itself. So we're gonna press that in. Now, I need to get this in here. Uh, it says sometimes you might need to lift this up a little bit but it looks like it should go in there pretty good. I want to push straight down. Um, there we go. Okay, make sure that that's in place. So with that, let's put our fuse puller back. And hopefully all is good. And this van should start back up. We'll see. Okay, again, it's the first time I'm trying this. Let's see if we can get it started. Hey, look at that. Perfect. All right, so hopefully uh, that will help some of you out there with a, a Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep with this specific fuse box. Uh, again, the company is called Vertical Visions. Uh, the information is listed there on the card. I'll put a link into the description below. So if this video has helped you out, again, feel free to give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks as I run into them. And as always, I've done the research so you don't have to.